another corpse thrown in the streets. Great. Someone's playing a very sick game. I'll talk to you first. Good evening, Mr. Throgmorton. Dr. Reed, can I be of any assistance? Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? Did you see what happened to him? Actually, yes. He was thrown from the roof like a vulgar log. Hmm. Who could have done that? Who? Well, a vampire, of course. Look, bite marks on the neck and lacerations here. There is definitely a vampire close by. Please, he's not afraid. You're a fraud. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you. And good hunting, Mr. Throckmorton. Hmm. What? There we go. I know this brooch. This is my mother's. A birthday gift from father. Twenty nine Pretty Orchard Street. That's near Poplar's district. Why would this man carry off my mother's brooch? I must go there. Hmm. Glad to see you again, Mr. Reed. Did you see what happened? No. I was coming back to the shelter from work when I heard an awful scream, and there was this man, dead, just in front of the building. You saw nothing at all? No. I told you, just that awful woman's scream. A woman's scream? Are you sure? Of course. It was terrifying. I thought it was my sister, so I ran. But it was a man I've never seen round here before. <laughs> Are you saying that Mr. Throgmorton screamed Goodbye, like a girl? You again? What do you want? Did you see what just happened? No, I didn't. And I don't care. Really? Why is that? Because this sexist peak is one of the four men who blacklisted me. Good riddance, if you ask me. Oh. Well, thanks for well, your help, I'll leave I guess. You for now. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I'm going to go spend my XP now. It's been a long night, and I have learned much, so I shall go spend it. Am I ever going to move this dead guy out of here? Stinking up the place. Oh. Regular regeneration serums. No good handle parts. I know I've gotten some good trigger parts, but... Ruin steak seems to be just generally better. Hmm. 
Reliable semi-automatic pistol often used by German officers. Would have fired three rounds in quick succession. Yep, nothing for me here then. Ooh. Here. Trade more blood to heal yourself instantly and gain an additional boost on your health regeneration. Trade the instant health gain for greater regeneration. I think my regeneration is as good as good right now. I may want to get 20 of these. Let's get rage. Or I can increase my health. Do I need more? Yeah. And that'll be it. Christian faith or occult? What is immortality? Having your name inscribed in history? Raising children who will honor your memory? Earning your place among the saints of heaven? John Hampton, founder of the Hampton Asylum in East End, has his opinion on the matter. Eternity comes to those who bear divine presence in themselves. Mr. Hampton, also known as the Sad Saint for his Unqualified empathy towards others, and his constant pity of their plight, has created with his asylum a haven for lost souls. He keeps the, for the poor fed and gives them a roof to sleep under. Still, the asylum has now been closed for a few days, and his last accessible orations took a turn towards cult-like worship. I know it, he isn't right in the head. If heresy can be defined as faith gone adrift, Sean Hampton and his flock may have been turned into heretics. For the first time since I have known the sad saint, will speak ill of him, and the mysterious chants heard through the closed doors of the shelter worry more than they encourage. As a possible consequence of this suspicion, the sanitary situation of the dock has drastically decreased. Pride of a place to rest, the poor get sick from sleeping rough, preferring to catch their death under the stars than join an unknown cult. That alone says enough of the tarnished reputation of the sad saint. A reputation that will be restored only when the doors of his asylum open once again. Healthy, nice. He has a code. Cold. He still has a migraine. Oh. I need to get over there. And. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about this. I mean, I can't heal this headache yet. I don't know who this person is.
I need your blood, rat. Well, that's not good. Oh, what the hell? I, I know how to get in there. This way. Oh. This place is full of skull. Ah. Get the fuck off of me. God damn it. I'm dead. Seven levels above me. I teleported. Stop there fucking teleporting. I trusted him, and what the fuck happened? Still there. It's locked, all right. God, everybody's dead. I sleep for one night, and what the fuck happens? It's locked. It's locked, all right. Put my trust in him and look what fucking happened. Gave fucking gave in. Now I gotta kill him. Get the fuck off of me. Oh fuck. I'm dead. I need to come back later. <laughs> yeah, he's too high level for me. I want to go back to some other parts of town where I have yet to defeat, uh... ...returned people. <laughs> oh, I should have embraced him. It would have been better for everybody. I'll be back later, dearies. Let's see.
Where does it have me going now? Here. Well, I'm gonna go back to the hospital, though. However, I'm going to take a quick break to go use the restroom. So, I will see you all next time.